And welcome back to Mad Minds Derpyoten. This time it's in English in the beginning because I totally forgot last time that this is the English project, the English little yeah test of Let's Plays from a German guy with a German accent. Go deal with it. I don't give a shit. Uh, it's about Shell time. Let's see what Shell's telling us. What her prelude is. I got the feeling that they're all gonna meet up here at some point or that they used to be here already. Hmm, we'll see. And I, I said it before. Wait. They improved the graphics a little bit. Pretty cool. Shell, 236 days in. Uh, so it's hey, Shell, almost a your year. Your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you since, for doing that. Since it happened. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this, what do you think that does to a kid? <sighs> She's already changing. She dismisses things she cares about so easily. Mm hmm. I guess you kind of have to when you've already lost so much, but I still worry. If you've ever watched series a good like... Kid. Sorry. These are shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Thanks, Stephanie. Nice. Falling skies for Alexander. The Walking Dead. Becca, that was great! Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? That sounds like a great idea. Yep. Maybe we can all get in on it, like some kind of weekly talent show. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. Once she doesn't want to hear about it again. All right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. It's really hard to do a let's play. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. So much. Okay, talking. let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. Cool. Actually, I wanted to make sure our blades were in good condition first. No rush on the flashlights. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. Okay, let's just uh, rewind a little bit. We got Wins, who's a convict because he helped his brother kill someone, as far as I understood it. And shot off a foot of one of his con convict convicts. I think it's convicts. And escaped. So he's a sort of a mess, but not entirely a bad guy. So then we had Wyatt, the pothead, uh, at least a friend of a pothead, who left his body behind because they were chased by a guy in a pickup and we got and that's the typical survival thing a group of people who found each other or knew each other already have been in like what was it 236 days i'm not really sure i'm not so good with numbers there and they feel pretty safe in this world they have a diner as their headquarter they have a number of tools and knives like here <laughs> These knives are looking pretty ragged. Don't yeah. worry, they're on our list. And they're quite organized. That's the first episode where I can actually move around a little bit. Yeah, actually where I can move around here. All right, let's see. What's this? How are we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. That's a pretty good thing. What? Nothing. What did Roman want? I don't know yet. Are you going to find out? Yeah, in a sec. Okay, we can talk to people, check the flashlights. Huh, still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope, still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. You guys need help? Nah, we got this. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. All right, so let's check it out. The diner looked pretty nice back then. That's because it they used to pay people to clean it. Also, <laughs> not as many dead visitors back then. And they got a very good humor. So where do we go now from here? Let's go back for a second. 
thing is that my face cam is also overlaying at this moment. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, what's that? That's an empty wall. I can stare at an empty wall? What the hell? Uh, empty wall. Oh, interesting. It looks weird in here without the paintings. Well, Boyd wanted something to paint his own pictures on. I guess it'll be a personal gallery in here when he's done. Well, all right, that explains it. Now, how do I get to the other side? Ah, through here. Okay, before I'm going on in there, there was something I can check out here. Hey, Becca, think we should start charging for the inspections we make? Oh, yeah. Then we can spend all our money at nowhere. Well, maybe the zombies take the money. You never know. Open the doors. Knock, knock. Hello. We should Fire. do an inspection on these. Make sure they all work. It's actually not a bad idea because it might help at some point. If a fire breaks out, for example. Kitchen sink. Glad we thought to bottle our water before it ran out. Actually, a pretty good idea. They actually have, yeah, vegetables. Uh, they said so much. This hasn't worked in a long time. That's true. No wonder. Coffee. God, I, coffee. What I wouldn't give for a cup of coffee in the morning. Same thing with our uh, Last of Us Let's Plays. Uh, okay, I have to say that is in German then, but uh, still. Same thing. Ellie's waking, uh, is growing up in a world that's fucked like this one, so yeah, oh, fuck me, right? Starting to thin out in here. Thank God we have a garden now. Yeah, for vegetables. But yeah, humans can survive from that, so that's also fine. And let's see. <gasps> oh, you scared me! He's hungry. Guess he knows it's feeding time. They're feeding... It is disgusting. Can't disagree with you there. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. Hmm. It's better than the alternative. I'd rather she have a shorter, happy experience in this world than one full of fear and death and horror. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. That's I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. The idea is pretty good. Uh, keeping some of the zombies here will keep the others away because they think they are just zombies around. Talk to Walker. I wanted to try it. Come on. <laughs> again, again, again. No, no, no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's my food, my food, my food. But you tasty better. So I can't play basketball. So what are you eating? Hmm? Let me guess. A gruesome discovery. Like NCIS or CSI or whatever. Oh. God. It's a bunny, right? God. <sighs> Bit of a dog. Ugh. Looks like a puppy. Yeah, well. At least she's eating. As long as it's not been uh, granny, everything's fine. So, that's been that apparently. And we're going back inside. Alright. Knock knock. I'm back. <laughs> oh, not funny. Not oh, funny. Jesus, don't ever fucking do that again! Whoa! What's your problem? I do this all the time. You don't get all pissed off. I'm sorry. It's... It's just the watchdogs. I guess they found a, a puppy. A puppy? Yeah. I guess it just got to me, you know? It was... it was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but after a while you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> right? But then, you know, there it is. You see it and you want to protect it and... And now it's gone. Refer that to her. Sucks. Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. 
He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Becca. Shell! Becca! Something's going on outside! Oh. What is it? I don't know. Something bad. We gotta find Roman. Action! At least they got guns. At least I hope they're taking guns with them. So, what's up? Come here, everyone! Shit. Come on, we gotta find Roman. That was That's pretty mad. calm. It's okay to be there. Jesus! So they found uh... Largum. Lar My god, Lar Largum. what did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No, they didn't get that close. Did he hurt anyone? No, thank God. Who is he? I don't know, and I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck in. Second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Last time we couldn't catch him, and they got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some. We'll send him on his what way. What if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, I think we would have seen them by now. I mean, nobody travels alone by choice anymore, right? Yes, we true. can't just let him go. It's too dangerous. Who knows if he has friends waiting to attack? Don't you think we would have seen someone by now? At least trying to negotiate to get him back. <sighs> that is strange. That doesn't mean anything. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. Vernon and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Not trusting Vernon strangers. And the boat. We stole their boat from that teenage kid at gunpoint. That's when our group fell apart. He it's can't the, stay here. It's them. Oh my I god. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. So you... You're yeah. right. It's gotta be one or the other. Which is right. I would we just... are letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, boy, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing vote here, oh, Shell. Great. What's it gonna be? Neutral? Can I, can I choose neutral? Kill him and set him free. What would you guys do? I'll say nothing. Fine. I'll make the call myself. Sorry, I couldn't. It's too hard. We can't keep him here, and we can't let him go. Let's mop them. If there's even it's a so chance of him coming back, or telling folks that might try to hurt us, we can't risk it. I won't ask you to watch, but if we do this, we're all in it together. If this ever happens again, it's gonna be one of you pulling that trigger. Hmm. It's damn right, though. Tough, really tough. For me, it is tough, definitely. Not Becca. That's dead. So, oh wait, two, five, nine days. Do you oh, have any fours? Damn it. That's the group from last time. Nope. That stole the boat. Do you have yeah. any sevens? Some at least. Not cheating. I'm not a cheater. Yep. So, um, we're playing cards. I miss playing guitar for everyone. I mean, it was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? After we had to kill that guy, there's a lot we don't do anymore. I wish things were still like they used to be. Well, Roman's too focused on making sure no one's able to break in again. Hmm. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time. 
Roman isn't taking any chances. Then I should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Did anyone see you leave? No, no one saw me. You've got to stop That's doing that. Deal. You're going to get us both in a lot of trouble. Not I don't that. see why it's such a big deal. We had another break-in just last month. Uh, Becca, you know what it means if someone were to see you and follow you back here. No one is following me. There's no one else out there. Shell, I need to talk to you. <laughs> There's no one else out there. No. It's open. Sup. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. Huh. We can talk here. No. Just finish up here and come find me. And don't take too long. <sighs> what was that all about? Serious shit. Probably nothing. Don't worry about it. He uh. said it was important. Yeah, well... These days, everything's important to Roman. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. And she's checking the cards, isn't she? I don't know. Oh, what's up? Really looks pretty bleak now. He's not feeling too well. So, well, let's check on him first. Plants? How come no one's watering these? That's a good question. What's up? Hey, Boyd. Hey. Shell, it's Stephanie. What? Roman's got her locked up like some kind of animal. What they said that? she was trying to escape. They actually used that word. Escape. Boyd, calm down. I knew something like this was going to happen, Shell. I said if we killed that man, we were heading down a dangerous path. And now look where we are. I'm gonna go talk to Roman. No, no, just take Becca and get out of here. You know I can't do that. Things are good here. We just have to stick together and follow the rules. Just... Don't do anything stupid. Uh, I really have to replay it at some point. Looks nice, Boyd. Thanks. To see what the other other decision would have been. So I can talk to Joyce. Hey, I heard about Stephanie. Why did she have to do that? We're safe here. There's no reason to want to leave. I'm sure she had her reasons. I'll go talk to Roman. We'll figure it out. So he's up front. What about the tr what's what's up with the truck here? Ah, oh, yeah. Locked up like an animal, right? Is this really necessary? Not replying. So what's Roman? Up? Good. You're what's here. Happening? I heard about Stephanie. Plastic toys. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? You know what we do. What happened? We caught her trying to escape. Well, so what, Roman? Ever since the incident, this hasn't been an easy place to live in. If she doesn't want to stay, let her take her chances out there. Well, A, she had most of our seeds, medicine, and ammo with her. And mm. B, you know we can't let anyone leave who knows where we are. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? Oh, come on. Yeah. You said that next time, it'd have to be one of us. You went along with it last time. But you weren't convinced it was the right thing to do. It's now I need to know that you're with us. A hundred percent. But she's one of us. Th this is different. No, she's not. Not anymore. Drama. She tried to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. She knew that could mean the death of any one of us. You got your gun? It's in the camper. I'm not gonna shoot her. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. God, what do I tell Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. Mm. That's a long episode, by the way. <sighs> Shell? What's wrong? Well, Am she, I in trouble? She, she had to do it.
It's Stephanie. She stole a bunch of supplies and tried to escape. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. Oh, she's not dead yet. Why would she do this to us? Because this place isn't safe anymore. Exactly. Ever since we killed that stranger, things have been different. Roman's not trying to protect us anymore. He's trying to control us. But it's safe here. I mean, yeah, I want to get away every now and then, but I would never leave. That's crazy. Mm. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Uh, let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there, in the drawer. I always, always wonder if we could live like nomads, traveling from one place to the other without settling down. I'm not gonna do you it. You know, we don't have to do this. Exactly. We can just go. Yep. What? We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe. The group will protect us. But for how long? I don't know. Longer than we'd survive out there. Besides, you know the rules. If we try to leave, hmm. Roman will hunt us down. The rules. We don't have a choice. This is who we are now. There's always a choice, by the way. You always have a choice. It just depends. I don't want this to be who we are. If you can deal just with it. Just let me do it then. No, I'll do <laughs> it. You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. I just need a second. This really sucks. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Shell, it's time. So, what are you doing? Run away. Shell? Shell, what the hell? Sit down, get safe. Shell, what the hell? Shell, hey! Shell, I'll be safe. Oh, I promise. Shell, you won't. What the fuck? <laughs> God damn it! A lot more thrilling that way. Everyone can shoot people. So that was Shell. Quite dramatic. Next episode, it's Russell time. See you then.